Hey guys, welcome to the 149th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to overload operators more. So for this tutorial, all you're going to need to have is a button and an item class. And inside of your item class, just make sure that you have um, a public integer property. It doesn't really matter what it's called, mine just happens to be called price. And I also have the code that we used in the previous tutorial to overload the plus uh, operator. In this tutorial, we're going to be overloading the equal equals operator and the doesn't equals operator because if you overload one, you must overload the other or else it'll throw an error. Alright, so let's just get right into it and the first method or operator that we're going to be overloading is the equal equals operator. So we're checking to see if two items are equal or not. So we're just going to type public and static because all operators must be both public and static. And then the next thing that we're going to want to type is the return type. And since we're checking to see if two items are equal or not, it's going to return a bool indicating whether they're equal. So if they're equal, it'll return true. If they're not equal, it'll return false. So we're just going to type bool right here. And then we're going to want to tell the compiler that we're overloading an operator. So we're going to type operator. And then we're going to want to type the operator that we're going to be overloading. And we're going to be overloading the equal equals operator, basically just checking to see if two items are equal. So we're just going to type equal equals. And just like before, when you're overloading the plus operator right here, the first parameter that we're going to be typing is what will be on the left side of the equal equals operator. So we're just going to type item, because we're going to be comparing two items. And then we're just going to type i1, we'll call it i1. And then the second parameter will, will be what was ever, or whatever will be on the right side of our equal equal sign. And I'm just going to type item and I'll call it i2. Alright, so now we're basically just going to compare these two items prices. And if the two prices are equal, then we're going to return true. If they're not equal, we're going to return false. And since we're dealing with a bool here, we can just use the ternary operator. So I'm just going to type return and then we're going to say if um, i1's price equals i2's price then we're going to return true. If they're different, we're going to return false. Alright, so now we've successfully overloaded the equal equals operator. So now when we debug, we're going to get an error because we haven't um, overloaded the doesn't equal operator as well. So yeah, it says the operator um, equal equals requires a matching operator doesn't equals to also be defined. So we must overload the doesn't equals operator as well. So we're just going to say public static because remember all operators must be both public and static. And we're going to say bool again because we're going to return a bool indicating whether the items are not equal this time. And then we're going to say operator again. And then this time we're going to say not equal. So exclamation point equals. And again, just for the parameters, we're going to have two items because we're going to be comparing two items um, prices. I'm just going to call this i1 and I'll call the second item i2. Alright, so basically we're going to be using the exact same code up here, only we're going to be checking to see if they're not equal, not if they are equal. So it's going to change that to a not equal sign. So if they're not equal, it will return true, indicating that they are not equal. And if they are equal, then it will return false, indicating that they are equal. Alright. So now that this is all good right here, let's just build to get rid of this right here, that squiggly line. Alright, build succeeded. And now we can actually use this. So we can create two items here. I'll just call this uh, item 1 and set it equal to a new item. And then I'll say this item's price is 5. And then I'll just create another item here. And I'll set its price to 5 as well. So item 2, and I'll say item 2's price equals 5. So now we're just going to check to see if these two items are identical. So we're going to say if item 1 equals item 2, then we're just going to get a message box saying that these items are the same. So these, oops, these items are the So now, if these two items are equal, which they are, we're going to get a message box saying uh, these two items are the same. I need to fix this so it says these. Alright. 
So now in the debug, you click this button, we should get these items are the same because these items are the same. Both their prices are identical. Yep, these items are the same. And since we overloaded the doesn't equal operator as well, we can check that out. So if they're not equal, and I'll just change this item's price to six, then we should get a message box saying these items are different. Just say type different right here. All right. So it sends item one's price is five, item two's price is six. We're going to get a message box saying these items are different because we use the doesn't equal operator right here. Yep, these items are different. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on overloading the equal equals operator and overloading the doesn't equals operator. So, see you guys.